Um, so we're going to have a look at an alternate mount escape today that will get us through to our, um, our shrimping escape. Um, the shrimping is a kind of feature that we've been working on all this week, the shrimping from, um, from underneath mount and from cross body mount. And the night gear we've been working on the switch outs and, um, and the rest lights and things. So this is, uh, when I first started explaining this to people, um, everyone kind of got it, but they couldn't do it. Yeah, I, I watched it, I can do that, that's really easy. When they come to do it, I'm like, what the fuck are you guys doing? That's nothing like what I did. Um, who kind of knows that thing? Yeah. Okay, so Amazon Mount. And what I find this time is that um, I've got my frame system on the inside, and I'm trying to push, but Amazon's got a really good uh, clamp on it, or her pelvic thrust is forward, so that her weight, I'm carrying her weight, which means as I'm preaching, her weight's kind of coming forward, which is worse for me because of arm bars, chokes, and tumors. So one thing is I want to, um, I want to keep the monkey behind the glass, which means that my frame system is here. Anytime that my frame system extends, you can push the cross and attack. So this is simply, so if Emma tries to go any further forward, it just stops it from coming forward. The structure in the frames is the, the position. Anytime that the structure goes from like a square to a rhombus, or out, the structure becomes weak and my frame system becomes weak. So it's really important that on my frame system, just push this one in, so I have a cup that holds it. I'm not trying the opposite way, because this is a weak system, it's the cup holds it. Does that kind of make sense? Cup holds it. So from here, is, I'm trying to bridge, but there's no space to have each other. What I start doing is, I plant my feet, and I simply wipe my ass side to side without turning my hips. So I wipe my side to side to get my elbow on the other side. Now what I see people do is because we're kind of pre-programmed to hip escape, I see people go like this. And I'm kind of just making them up, get further and further out the mouth. And even though I've got my frame system. So here, it's plant my feet, but I squeeze my knees. One, two, three, and elbows on the inside. So here, frame system, my elbows on the outside. I'm having trouble playing my feet. So I'm just going one, two, three, and on the out, my elbow comes in. This means that I now have a space to work, which makes it easier for me to start to get my escape. Your escape won't work with a knee on the inside. Well, it won't work as well. Yeah, okay, so from here, start with the elbows on the outside, plant your feet. Okay, we're not dipping our hips, we're just going, Side, 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 push this way, elbow comes in. Now, bridge, push, turn, get to the side. My partner will now upgrade to cross body mount. We're gonna stop here. Okay, in, come here buddy. And mount please. Okay, so once again, the you're okay, sit relaxed, you're okay. Okay, don't push, because you're only get so frame system here. I was gonna try to do this, he's got a remarkable mount for someone of his age. So what I try and do from here is this. My hip goes side to side, but I'm not dipping my hip. What I mean by that is my back stays on the ground. I simply get a system to get my knee or my elbow on the inside. So what I see people doing, they say, they treat it like a hip escape. So they start going off the side. As soon as I'm off the side, they're going to come up and, and my elbow sits on the outside, it's still exposed. Secondly, my frame system will get pushed across and it's better for them, worse for me. So keep the monkey behind the glass, my frame system. Side, 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 slide to your right, right elbow comes in turn and you'll probably catch the half guard sometimes. If you do, that's a bonus. If you don't, we're going to continue with the class. Okay, grab a part now. One, two, three. Let's go. Three minutes. Do it a couple of times each. Stop over. Over. Emma. Can you be my monkey? Okay. I know, baby. Okay. Okay, so, uh, elbow on the outside once again. This, I don't have any purchase, and she puts me over my bicep. She can pin it and then go like so. So what I do once again is I keep the monkey behind the glass from here. One, two, three, four. And this time her hand comes forward. Okay. Real simple, think about this way, is keep your frame. 
Any time I extend to grab with this hand here, our arm bar, and get crushed down. So keep your frame, it's really important. Does that make sense? Don't do what you think is the most, this is the most common reaction, it's like, haha, I'll grab, and this is just arm bar territory. Keep your frame, okay. From here, scoop, and I'm not trying to bring any of her weights on the hand. So the more I try and do this, the harder it is. Right, so all I know is I walk my legs towards it. Don't, not like, because her weight's on her legs and her hand, if I can walk my legs, I'll get more dynamic push than trying to grab with my hand. Secondly, if you change that frame system, they're going to drop their weight down on you, your frame's gone and you're caught on your side, then you're in a far better position to make arm bar, single wing, etc. This is how we do that again, just very quickly. Um, mm. So this isn't what I want to happen, but it will happen every now and then. You know? So frame system, once again, wipe my bottom on the ground, a little bit of a bridge, close, frame and hold. I don't even have to grab a frame up, this is much easier. Now, the key on this one is to pin her knee to the ground, I simply throw my leg over. And I'll get the ability to come up. If you come up inside the guard, once again, you've got that, you know, like arm bars in it. So I kind of find I sit off to the side. But get to the scramble, but because I've got this side here, it's hard for them to turn towards me and I can actually manipulate them to get them to where I want them to go. Okay, one more time. Yeah, I'll grab the in. This one in, jump on out. Buddy, I'm out. Sorry, bud. Okay. Just turn the camera around a little bit, please. Okay, so we're here, frame system. So wiping our bottom uh, uh, laterally. That, is that that laterally? Fuck, I'm smart. <laughs> so, monkey behind the glass. Bop, 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 hold. Frame. Don't get rid of your frame. Now, his knees pinned on the ground. So I throw my leg, I'm going to try to bring my knee to my hand. I've got, because I'm coming up, I should come out the side of the guard, or at least they should have a close guard on me. Okay, is everyone happy to try that, yeah? Okay, new partner, one, two, three, let's go. This is a complex motion, well, it's actually it's a real simple motion, but people tend to overcomplicate it. Um, and um, it's, because most people are too programmed to hit this pack, not shrink. So they kind of get the, the, not on purpose, but their body mechanics goes towards, it, towards a, a hip escape, not a shrinking escape. And because they're almost polar opposites, it's detrimental to the motion. So I'm gonna try and explain. So, so Amazon cross body mount. Uh, we, will, we will come to here off the hip escape uh, as part of the drill. <clears throat> um, I like to, um, kind of go worst case scenario. So she has my arm, her foot's dug into my stomach and her uh, right knee's behind my shoulder. So this is pretty much, she's pinned me, I'm having a lot of hard time to move. First things first is, um, you've got to deal with, with what is the immediate danger. So the arm bar right now would be the immediate danger. We had a collar on the choke, but I, I know from here, it's, it's difficult not impossible to choke me from here and she has to change her structure to choke me so she has to bring her weight forward which means i've got the ability so any time that they go for the single wing they're kind of aiding what i want to do but we're, we're not going to get tighter so she has the arm up this is the immediate danger what i see most people do is they cup their hands together if you are in emma's position and any time that they cut the hands together, your left knee smashes to the ground and you simply start to choke with your right hand. So any time that, that you have the cross body mount and you have the arm bar and they do the natural defense where they kind of hold it, they've taken their own post out. So what I see people do is they try and push me over, which is really hard. So smash your knee to the ground and that will turn my hip. By default, you'll pin my arm. So you are, my other arm's caught under your right hand and you have the choke. So the, the defense for this isn't to cut your hands together. It, it, no, like it, it's almost 
just delaying the inevitable, you know? So first things first is this, I need to get my elbow in the zone. I to walk my body so that my head and my legs work, work together as one, and I see people work this as two. So I walk my head and my arms together as one. Let me explain. My legs are going backwards, my head's going forwards. That would like my elbow, I mean. What I see people do is they try and hip escape, but because it's got that tight motion, I don't get any purchase. Secondly, is if you bring your top leg, which is my left leg, over, I'm adding her to take me belly down again. So whenever I walk, it's top leg backwards. Really important. If I take top leg forward, it adds her. So let's have a look at this in a little bit of detail. She has the arm bar once again. I'm not holding this together. In fact, what I do is I block, her, uh, block this out from here. This is going to aid me a little bit later. But So I walk my legs backwards, my top leg leading the way. Top leg and head, top leg and head, elbow comes in. Grab the foot. Let's have a look at that again. So the arms and I want to put, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, end of the week, I've been yelling quite a fair bit. So I have, I'm losing my voice. Emma's favorite day of the week. Um, so, uh, they would generally be trying to lift my arm up to get the arm bar. Does that make sense? So that gives me the space to put my hand here. So she'll help me with this. Top leg, head, elbow. Breathe under the foot. Now, you don't see it, but I've almost got an arm bar on Emma because I've been retracting the arm for so that. Me, whatever. Well, I can turn left to right and that way, it doesn't matter which way I turn. Ben, come hither. Cross body mount buddy, so I'm here to step over me, try not to kick me this time. And foot up. I've got my arm. Is this the first time you've arm barred me? No. Yes, it is. It's Cameron doing it, Doesn't make me look good. Uh, this is the first time you've arm barred me? Yeah. <laughs> <Right>, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so once again, they'll generally hold the gi and they're trying to get the elbow high to get the arm bar, get the, the space in. This allows his hand to come underneath. Right, so keep the arm bar, you're okay. So once again, my top leg walks backwards, my head walks forward. I'm going to go slow so you can feel. Top leg walks backwards, head walks forward, so I drop my elbow in. Push. Bridge. Here. Scoop. Pop. And you didn't see that coming. Okay, new partners, one, two, three, let's go. So Audi has cross body mount to me. Think about it this way, is um, the, the balance point that Audi is weak on is 45 degrees backwards. So basically behind her bottom is the, is the, the part that she's weak. She has a fave system with her knees and all that this way. So what I see people do, and it's not wrong, but you can do it a lot better, but a lot, lot better, is any time that my elbow comes away from my body, this is our bad territory. But this is better for her and worse for me. So what I'm trying to do is think about this way, as I walk my legs away and as I walk my head, so top leg, I'm driving my elbow to my hip, not into her. I'm driving my elbow into my hip, I'm not pushing her. By default, when I move my hips, that'll move her over, but I need to rescue my arm. She wants the arm bar to be high to the arm bar, so by default, I want the arm to be low so she can't do the arm bar. Does that kind of make sense? So what I'm doing is, as I walk backwards, I bring my elbow in. This makes it extremely hard for her to do an arm bar, number one, because I'm on her back leg. Number two, once I hip bump and I'm here, she has to rescue her arm, otherwise she'll be the one that, that's in trouble as well. So the small detail, how's that feel? Is, so we're here, once again is, I go top leg backwards, bop, 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 elbow comes in and push. So I can already feel that she's on, she can't do the arm up because the weight's on the wrong side. She needs to get her right leg over my head, but she'll fall over if she does that. But 
But Aaron, if you get to here and they've got good base along or struggling, he says, do this how much you take your head and you just take it. So I can now get my legs through as well. This is a better position for me. But it doesn't always come up, sometimes they fall over. Once you're in this position for me, lift your leg, and you work here and use this as a mechanic to lift them over. So the key fundamental that I see a lot of people make a mistake on this is that they try and push their partner and they actually give away the arm up or the back take. So do the opposite is like I go walk away and I'm going to bring my elbow in from here. So put it on backside, I can grab the ankle, I think I've got so much to do from here. As long as you keep your knee higher than her knee, you're fine. Anytime that the knee goes lower, she can pass. Okay, change partners, one, two, three. Just two minutes, guys. I, I, I mentioned earlier um, that people get confused between the hip escape and the shrink. And uh, the, the major difference is the back on the ground. So when we hip escape, ideally is we hip escape and reset. So we're, we're trying to, you know, add reset. So we start from this position. And because we drill the hip escape a lot, a lot of time from here, it's a hip escape, reset, hip escape, reset. With the stripping, it's side. Right. So I'm trying to keep my back off the ground the entire time. What I see people do, cut Emma. What I see people do is they they start correct. So they have the arm. They start. Everyone's pretty good from here. Walk the leg backwards. Everyone's pretty cool here. Make sure I take my elbow to my hip. Everyone's better at this now. Now what I see do is they go like this. And they, they, they pin their back straight back up on the ground. If you do that, you, you, you've basically gone from a semi bad position to a shit position. So it's really important that my, no matter what, I keep my back off the ground in this position. So I go legs and head, elbow. No back on the ground, legs and head, elbow. No back on the ground, legs and head. No back on the ground. Not, not no back on the ground, lift. Grab, no back on the ground. Ankle lock, dead, no back on the ground. So the, 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 the um, hard on this is that if your back does hit the ground, you almost have to stop, reset, and start the system again, instead of trying to oh, oh, recover, because you're going to end up in a worse position. Okay guys, grab a quick drink, one, two, three.